China's naval modernization efforts have seen significant advancements in various weapon systems, including surface to air missiles. Among these, the HHQ 7 stands out as a pioneer system that marked China's entry into the realm of effective naval air defense capabilities. Derived from the French R440 Crotair surface to air missile, the HHQ 7 system exhibits unique characteristics and capabilities that have contributed to its widespread deployment on Chinese frigates and destroyers since the early 1990s. The HHQ-7 system, an adaptation of the land-based HQ-7, was specifically tailored for naval use. While inspired by its French counterpart, the HHQ-7 features distinct modifications, including a redesigned launcher and separate mounting for the fire control radar. Notably, the presence of the pop-up reloading facility behind the October launcher enhances its operational efficiency and reloading capabilities, essential for sustained engagements. Integral to the HHQ-7's effectiveness is its advanced fire control system, which seamlessly integrates with the ship's air search radar, primarily the TAP-360 radar. Employing semi-active radar guidance, the system relies on the TAP-3455 control radar for target illumination. In scenarios requiring manual intervention, operators can utilize a TV channel for precise targeting, underscoring the system's adaptability and redundancy. With a maximum range of 12 km and an altitude ceiling of 5 km, the HHQ-7 delivers formidable air defense capabilities. Enhanced variants, such as the HHQ-7B, extend the range to 15 and 6 km, respectively, elevating its effectiveness against a broader spectrum of area of threats. Despite its impressive performance, the system's minimum engagement range of 700 meters and limited effectiveness against subsonic sea skimming targets highlight its inherent operational constraints. The HHQ-7's deployment on various Chinese frigates and destroyers throughout the 1990s signified a paradigm shift in China's naval strategy offering a credible and reliable defense against airborne threats. Retrofitting older vessels and integrating systems into newly constructed warships underscored its adaptability and relevance in modern naval warfare. However, its inherent limitations, such as the inability to engage multiple targets simultaneously and its predominantly poor defense orientation, have led to its gradual replacement by more advanced Russian and domestic surface to missile systems in subsequent naval designs. While pioneering in its capabilities, the HHQ-7 single target engagement limitation and restricted range rendered it better suited for localized air defense rather than comprehensive area defense. Despite these drawbacks, its introduction marked a significant milestone in China's naval modernization journey, laying the groundwork for the deployment of more advanced surface to missile systems in subsequent naval platforms. In conclusion, the HHQ-7 stands as a testament to China's evolving naval prowess representing a crucial step toward achieving comprehensive air defense capabilities at sea. However, as technology advances and operational requirements evolve, the HHQ-7's role may gradually diminish, making way for more capable and versatile systems in China's maritime arsenal.